Hey friends, it's Jessie and welcome back to the channel and welcome to my August Shop My Stash. I've been getting so many comments recently, especially on like my Pan Those Eyeshadows videos asking about the Shop My Stash video. I made one last year, just a singular Shop My Stash in October, I think, of 2021. And I did not realize how into that video people were gonna be. So I decided to bring it back. I'm gonna try and do this, I think, monthly or bi-monthly. I haven't really decided. It'll depend on my filming schedule and what other videos I have planned. Basically, I'm just gonna kind of go through my everyday makeup drawer. I'm gonna filter through, pull out things that I'm not necessarily using or gravitating towards all the time and then replacing it with things I want to use for the month of August or maybe things that I have been gravitating towards newer makeup things like that I will of course be keeping anything that is in a project pan in my everyday makeup drawers but I will let you know about those items when we get to them but let's go ahead and dive into my August shop my stash I just wanted to take a quick second to appreciate the grungy makeup look today. I used the Pat McGrath, I think it's called the Subversive Palette. It was one that when I was doing my big complete eyeshadow palette collection video that I realized I hadn't used, so I used that today. And then on my lips, I have a REM lip liner and the MAC and Stranger Things gloss. Here is a quick overview as to what my everyday makeup section is looking like. I know the rest of my house is disgusting, but this is my current everyday drawers. They are so full right now that you can't even close the bottom one. So we are going to go ahead and shop my stash, put some stuff away and pull out new stuff. Let's go ahead and start with the bottom, the main drawer. I usually keep my palettes in this one. So starting off, the first palette I have is the Subversive by Pat McGrath. This is actually what I used on my eye look today, as I said in the intro to the video, and I actually really liked it. So I'm debating keeping this in my everyday drawer because I have enjoyed it so much today. I have my Too Faced Gingerbread Spice Palette. This one, I'm trying to use up the powdered sugar shade in here. So I think I am going to keep this in my everyday drawer as well for now. We have this Mulan and ColourPop blush. This is in the shade Matchmaker. This does not belong in here. I just used this this morning, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that back in my regular drawers. I have this new one from ColourPop. This is the On The List palette. I actually just picked this up at Ulta recently, and I'm going to leave it in my everyday drawers until I have a chance to use it and play around with it. These two from MAC, I've actually been reaching for these a lot. So this is the Void palette. These are the MAC and Stranger Things palettes. I've used this one so many times this week, and then I also have the Class of 1986 eye palette, also from the MAC and Stranger Things collection. And I think I want to leave these in for now because I have enjoyed using them so much. I've been using the Void palette a lot more than this one, but I would like to use both of them. So I'm going to set this in a maybe pile for now. We have the Kathleen Lights, the Zodiac palette. I'm actually going to put together a singles palette. Last year when I was doing my Pan Those Eyeshadows, I ended up actually pulling out all the shades that I was working on out of my ColourPop palettes and putting them in a singles palette. So I'm going to do that. Let me pull this out. I just went and grabbed an empty ColourPop singles palette. And I'm gonna just take out the shade from this palette that I was working on. So the shade I was working on is the Pisces. I'm just gonna pop that guy in there. That way I can put the big palette back in my drawers and make some room in here. We have the She's Got Solstice from ColourPop. This is in my A to Z project pan. I'm working on Estrella. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just going to pop this one out and I'm just gonna pop that into the singles palette as well. That way I can put the big palettes away and have room for the palettes that I actually wanna try. The Nomad Fête de Provence palette. I just reviewed this. I did three looks on my channel and I've been using it nonstop. In fact, a lot of people have really liked the purple look that I did with this palette, and to be honest, this has been super inspiring for me, so I do want to leave this in my everyday drawers. I have the Melt Amori Mariposas palette. I'm working on Nueva Vida in my Panos eyeshadows, so despite the fact that I don't want this big of a palette in my, my drawer, I'm gonna have to leave it in because I don't think I can depot this as easy as the ColourPop ones. I have my ColourPop and Hocus Pocus palette that's been in my Panos eyeshadows. I may or may not have hit a pan in this, so take it as you will but i'm gonna go ahead and put this back in my drawers i have the melt blueprint palette this is in my current project level up i've been working on this one as my level one palette in that project and i'm going to keep it in because i have to hit my goal we have the ColourPop nightmare before christmas palette i think i'm gonna put this one back in my drawers for now because i pulled it out last month thinking i would use it 
and I haven't yet. So I'm gonna just put that back in my drawers and make room. Same thing with the So Very Lovely. I'm debating, I'll put this in the maybe. I might leave that in my drawer. We have the ColourPop Winnie the Pooh Sweet As Can Be palette. This one I'm gonna go ahead and put back in my drawers. I have the ColourPop Hello Kitty and Friends palette. This is in my project level up as well. So this of course is staying in my drawer. We have the In The Springs palette by ColourPop. I haven't gotten to try this one yet. I got it in my last ColourPop order and I'm debating if I wanna keep it in my, my drawer or if I just wanna let it go and pull it out when I'm ready. I'm thinking I'm just gonna put it away for now. We have the Lethal Cosmetics One Up palette. I have not gotten to try this one yet, so I do wanna leave this in because this color story is extremely exciting for me. We have these two little quads from ColourPop. This is the Wait and See quad, and this is the Short Thing quad. I reviewed these a while back, and I am ready to put them back in my drawers because I've played with them a couple times since reviewing them, and I'm comfortable moving them out. The last thing I have in here is the Ice Crusher Highlighter Palette by Jeffree Star. I had this in here while I was playing around with it while it was still new, but I have used it quite a bit and haven't reached for it recently, so I'm going to put this back as well. For these palettes, I'm going to leave my MAC and Stranger Things palettes in here, but I'm going to put back the So Very Lovely because I can always take it out if I want to, and I'm just going to pop my Singles palette on top for now. This palette is a little too big to fit, so it's going to be kind of awkward, but this is what this drawer is looking like. Next, let's go ahead and tackle my chic drawer out of this one. So we have the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. I love this. This is a staple, so this is staying. And I'm also going to leave in my Charlotte Tilbury cream bronzer. Mine is in the shade 1 Fair. I want to keep this in as well. I think I'm ready to put back my ABH cream bronzer in amber and even my NARS Laguna cream bronzer. I think it's time because I'm leaving the Charlotte one in. I think I can put these two back. Flexitarian highlighter. I've literally wanted to use this so many times in the past month and I completely forgot it was in here. What do I want to do with this? Maybe. I think I'm also ready to put back my Butterfly by Benefit blush. It was a fun run while I had it in here, but I'm ready to try new things. This is Count Me In by ColourPop. This is a super shock blush. I am going to leave this in because I'm seeing how much I can use up of this one before the end of the year. I have my Fenty Toasted Swirl Chocolate Swiller Bronzer. I've really enjoyed this for summer, so I think I will leave it in for now because I have loved using it this summer. I love the glow it gives. Florence by Mills. This is Glowing G Cream Blush. I had this in to see if I would use it, and I haven't yet, so I'm going to put this back in my drawer. And then I have these two items from Odin's Eye. The first is a blush in the shade Warm Sun. I'm going to put this back in my drawer. I've used it quite a few times over the past couple months, so I'm comfortable putting it back. And same with this highlighter from Odin's Eye. This is in the shade Azura Shine. Azura? Azura Shine? This is just a really pretty blue to purple kind of reflect highlighter. I'm going to put this back as well because I have used it several times. I just popped off the top unit from this drawer set. These are from the container store, by the way. I will link them in the description if you're interested. This sponge does not belong in here. I keep this mirror in here usually so I can do like my lashes and my winged liner because I'm blind. So I'm going to leave the mirror. The super shocks, I'm actually going to all put these, I'm going to put these all back because I had pulled these blues out when I was working on a blue shade in my Project Pan Those Eyeshadows but that shade is no longer in my project and I just never put these back. So that section is cleaned out. Astromech is this jelly mutt shadow and I think I'm gonna leave this in because I quite enjoy this. This is the lip gloss I'm wearing today, by the way. This is in the shade Marvelous Max. It is from the Mac and Stranger Things collection. I've been loving this, so I'm gonna keep this in. I have this new lipstick by Rare Beauty. This is in the shade Worthy. So I'm gonna leave the lipstick and the matching lip liner in because I really enjoyed using those. And then I have these two newer to me lip products that I haven't tried yet. This one is from ColourPop. This is in that new ColourPop and Ulta exclusive collection, the On The List collection. So I do wanna leave that in. And this one is from the Gwen Stefani makeup brand. This is just their standard red original recipe. I have tried the red and I do like it um, and I do want to leave it in. I have this train wreck of stuff. I don't know how much I'm going to take out of this. So this liner I can put back. This has a star stamp. This is from Rivetra. Riv I don't know how to say that, but I'm going to put this one back. I'm going to leave my MAC brush stroke liner. So I have the brown and the black ones. I'm going to leave those in as well as my lash glue. 
And I'm also gonna leave my Rem and Fenty eyeliner pens in here because I use them so often. My two mascaras of choice right now are the Rem Beauty Lengthening Mascara and the Bad Gal Bang Waterproof, so those can stay. I have my Fenty eye primer, this can stay, but I am going to put back the extra lash glue because I already kept a lash glue in here. And then I have this lippy stick that has the shade name rubbed off, but it's this really pretty nude color. I think I'm going to put this one back as well. This back little quad is all brow stuff. So I have my MAC Shape and Shade Brow Tint. One of these is dead. Let me figure out which one it is. Because one of these does not work anymore. I don't think it's that one. That one. This one I'm going to declutter because it is literally dead. I'm going to keep the good one. I have some brow pencils. This is the NYX Brow Pencil in the shade Taupe, which is also dead. So... It has like the tiniest little bit left. So I'm gonna just toss that. I have my two ABH Brow Wiz. I have these shades Chocolate and Medium Brown. I'm gonna leave Medium Brown in because that's the shade I've been reaching for right now. And I'm gonna put back the Chocolate shade. And this is the new Brow Micro Filling Pen by Benefit. I have only used this a couple times. So I'm gonna leave that in as well. And then I have my ColourPop Clear Brow Gel. Now we have some more palettes and things. I have lots of lip products. So up first we have this one from MAC. This is in the shade Yash which I've actually really been liking recently. I like to wear this with the yellow gloss on top of it. So I'm going to leave this one in. This is the shade Ariel by ColourPop. I'm going to put this one back, I think. I've used it a couple times and I'm ready to put this one away. I have this one from the ColourPop and Star Wars collection in the shade Surrender. It is this really pretty red, but I do have the red from the Gwen Stefani line that I'm leaving in. We have Dark Lord from the same ColourPop and Star Wars collection. This one I might actually leave in. I do quite like this one, so I'll leave this one in. Of course, we have Hug Me by MAC. This is my tried and true. Could never part with this one. I have these two from Pat McGrath. I think I'm ready to put these away. I left them in here because the packaging was so pretty, but I just have not reached for these. So I have these shades Entranced and Nude Romantic 2. These are both from the Bridgerton collection, so I'm going to put these back. I have Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk 2 and Pillow Talk. I actually really like these and I reach for these constantly, so I am going to leave both of these in. I have this one from Jeffree Star. This is the shade Chocolate Fondue. It is just a really pretty brown and I'm also gonna leave this one in because I've been feeling browns recently. I also have this one from ColourPop and the Disney Villains Club. This is in the shade Hades, another fave right now. I've been loving a good nude. So I'm gonna leave this one in. I'm also popping in the other lip products from this container. I might actually put the Gwen Stefani right away because it doesn't fit nicely in these. And I'll put the Rare Beauty lip liner in here as well. I have some palettes in here. I have also this lip liner from Rem. This is in the shade Harmonies. I'm gonna leave that in. I really like this one as well. For palettes in this top section, I have the Natasha Denona Love. I'm ready to put that back in my drawer. I do have my two Odin's Eye palettes. This first one is the Solmon 2 palette. This is super pretty, such a fun color story. I've really wanted to play around with these yellows and oranges, so I think I'm gonna leave this one in for now. Same with my Hila palette, which is Odin's Eye and Angeshka. I'm going to leave this one in because I still wanna play with some of those greens. And honestly, while I'm at it, I'm just gonna pop the Nomad Provence palette in here because I think it'll look really pretty up here. And then I have some other palettes in here as well. We have the Soft Glam by ABH. I quite like this one and I'm unofficially trying to pan this, so I'm going to leave that in. Same with my Modern Renaissance, which is in my current A to Z project pan. So both of these are staying in. I think it is okay for me to put back my ABH Nouveau palette. I did really like playing with this one, especially when it first came out, but I think I want to give one of these slots up here to a different palette. I also have my Naked Cherry, which I'm working on in my A to Z project pan. So this is going to be staying as well. And that should be this top section cleaned out. I do have this lip container in here as well, but honestly, I don't know how much I'm going to take out of this because I really just keep like my bulkier things like my Jeffree Star glosses. I have my Nomad glosses, my Jeffree Star liquid lips. This is from iMethod. I got this in PR and have been loving this one. It's like a little pumping gloss. And then I also have the red sparkly gloss from the ColourPop Jasmine Chiswell collection. So I think I'm going to actually leave all of these as is because I just don't feel like going through the store, honestly. So this is what my acrylic drawers are looking like so far. Not super organized because I just messed everything up, but we have lots more space in here. I'm ready to pick out some new products. The first drawer I want to pull from is actually my bronzer drawer, and I really want to pull out my ABH contour stick. This is in the shade Fawn, and I've just really been loving like the 
cool tone contour look right now as well as I think my one size beauty bronzer trio so hard to do this one handed but this is in the shade light I've been reaching for this one a lot in conjunction with my ABH bronzer I think we should be good on bronzers after that for blush blush is going to be the trickier one I'm not really sure what type of vibe I want to go for for blush this month I think I want to pull out prairie air which is by ColourPop this is such a pretty like bubblegum pink blush so that one I want to pull out and I think I should do another one I'm trying to decide what I want to do I actually think I want to go into my NARS blushes because I haven't played with these in a really, really long time. So the one I want to go into is Dolce Vita. Dolce Vita. That is this really pretty deeper pink shade. I feel like that would be really pretty this month. And maybe even just for fun, since I'm leaving the MAC and Stranger Things eyeshadows, I should pull out the blush. This is in the shade He Likes It Cold. Not me keeping all the packaging because Stranger Things is literally my new comfort show. It is just a red blush and I would actually really like to try this one out some more this month i'm a blush gal like i love my blush i'm also thinking i want to take out gingerly gingerly is such a pretty shade i think i'm gonna take this one too and for highlight i'm usually a pretty basic b when it comes to highlight i have my flexitarian but i have noticed i've been reaching for ofra and samantha march start inspired a lot so this is what it looks like it is just kind of like pinky gold so i do want to take that one out and i think i also want to take out cookie by benefit this one i've also been reaching for a lot this one looks like it's just a pretty champagne shade so I think with that, we should be good on complexion products. Just gonna go ahead and pop these in here. And hundreds of blushes right in the front, and then we'll do my highlighters. It doesn't have to be perfect. In terms of palettes, I don't really feel like I need a whole lot, but I am interested in pulling out my mini breaker palette again. It's been a while since I've used this one, and this is my favorite like summer to fall transition palette. So I do wanna take this one out. And then I also think I wanna take out my Bridgerton and Pat McGrath volume two palette. This is what that one looks like. I just really like the pinks and the bronzy shimmer and even that gold green shimmer. I feel like that'll be a lot of fun for August. For lashes, I don't know if there's any that I specifically wanna pull out, but I do really wanna try the Grow and Show by Rem that I bought recently. So I'm gonna pull out those. I also want to pull out my Rare Beauty Tinted Moisturizer, mainly because I think my bottle has a crack because it keeps dripping out the side, and I want to use that up so it's not in here anymore. I also want to pull out my All Nighter Spray because I have just a couple spritzes left, and that is an empty, and same with my NYX Matte Finish Spray. I'm almost out of this one as well. And the last thing I want to pull out from this drawer is my One Heck of a Blot Powder by Soap & Glory. I think I am extremely close to hitting pan on this, so I want to pull this out and see if if I can maybe possibly hit a pan in this. And this, my friends, is what my current everyday lineup looks like. I am so glad you guys joined me today while I picked out some new products. I'm excited to play with all the new things I picked out for the month of August. That is all my friends. Thank you so much for watching and let me know what products you are reaching for this month. I hope you guys all have a lovely day wherever you are and I will see you all in the next one. Bye friends.